that, right, is why they called him Five Knuckles Keith. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah, fucking great, great boxer. Really, really was. Really was. Product of his time. Ah, uh, so. Bit of a wanker, though. <laughs> a massive, massive wanker. And deserved, deserved everything that was coming to him. Especially that night that he got jumped and was fisted. A bit like, uh... Ha <laughs> 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 You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know damn well who I'm talking about. In a milk float. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it never stops. It never stops being funny. It never stops being funny. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Greatest people, it's Jared here. Wolfgang One back for um, quite an interesting video. We are in our seven days world. We thought we'd just like sort of chill out over the pool table and that, but we thought we'd do something um, that's been on the back burner for a little while. Uh, when I say a little while, about a decade. Yeah, um, just a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit, yeah. Um, so we, um, we posted a video ten years ago um, when we were in a band called Wolfgang, um, and uh, basically it was an option to ask the band a series of questions, uh, get to know the band, sort of thing. And uh, we were going to post a response to it once we got enough questions, and we didn't, quite frankly. Um, which I think, more than anything else, as I am the uh, the band channel uh, admin. I guess that's more a reflection on myself more than anything else, but... Yeah, we'll leave that down. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah it's, all, it's all my <laughs> fault, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but we thought, you know, 10 years, 10 years too late, maybe, but we thought we'd sit down here, um, squatting in front of these sofas, <laughs> and uh, we, we're going to answer the bad questions that we should have answered a decade ago. So you, you're you all set for this, yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Bring back some memories, yeah. It's been a while. It's, it's, it's been a minute, yeah. Absolutely. So I uh, do hope you're uh, ready for this. Do, do, come come join us as, as we delve through these. Right, so... Um, uh, I'll, I'll start off with the first question. Right, just here. Um, yeah, why not? So, uh, we Free 29 uh, says, What influences your happy, upbeat and uplifting style of music? <laughs> and is it hard to keep up that sudden look when you're giving the crowd such warm lyrics? Thanks for Stephen Stewart. Um, <laughs> well, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna start off, you might as well start off harsh. Um, yeah. What influences your happy, upbeat, uplifting style of music? Um, Life in general. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because because everything is is always it's, it's it's always a laugh a minute, isn't it? Really. Um, oh well, yeah. Couldn't be any better. Um, I'd, uh, what influences my style of music? Well, I've always been a particular fan of the minor chord. Um, <laughs> There's, there's something about a, a minor chord um, that just seems to really capture a specific tone. It, it's not a happy sounding chord. Um, no, no, it's, it's, it's a little down, but I'm, I must say I, I quite like it as well. So. Yeah, uh, but it works very well in the um, in the 60s four chord arrangement where it always ends up being the second chord in. So you always start off with a major chord then a minor chord, then two major chords, and then come back around uh, in a loop to repeat the whole process. Um, what I've liked to do on quite often is bypass that first major chord entirely, so instead of going C to A minor, I will just go straight for, to A minor, and generally the the uh, tone that I'm trying to get across with that is fuck you and the horse you ho rode in on. So it's basically start as you mean to go on. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, I will admit that uh, a, a disproportionate number <laughs> of our songs... Did start on a minor chord, <laughs> um, but yeah, that, I, I think that's one of the influences. Um, but if it works, stick to it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say there was any one particular <laughs> band or musical style which influenced that exactly. Um, no. It, but it, um, but, just... but here, here's the thing. I mean, our our uh, our songs normally have a "fuck you" and the horse you rode in on motif. <laughs> but they do, but it's it's hidden, not very well, but it's hidden behind an not upbeat, yeah. no, an upbeat tempo. Um, <laughs> every now and then, for example, or you'd always be mine. Yeah. All alone. Have a, uh, all alone. Yeah. Not so much the second floor. No, <laughs> no, that's not hidden at all. <laughs> no. Um, very, so yeah, I, I, very out there. Is it hard to keep up that sudden look when you're giving the crowd such warm lyrics? Absolutely that's, fucking not. That's just your face. That's just my face, yeah. <laughs> Can't help it. It's just the way we are. 
<laughs> yeah, um, it's it's not difficult at all because most people seem to think that you you have a persona when you're on stage. Um, no, that's hundred percent you. Uh, that's, that's that's totally hundred percent me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> In much the same way that uh, when I first started off the Wolfgang One channel, uh, Wolfgang One was supposed to be an, um, an over-exaggerated um, version of my general persona, but as I've got older, we have become one and the same. So <laughs> you just merged yourself into yourself, basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I took it in the literal sense and I fucked myself, basically. And isn't that so, a lovely thought? It is, actually. In, in fact, once we've uh, concluded here, I'm going to pop up the stairs just over there and uh, knock one out in the bathroom. So, yeah, maybe um, you will folk dance for you. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Get myself in a wangle. So, yeah, th there's not a particular um, music style or uh, band or anything like that. It's just that I've always really quite enjoyed the sound that a minor chord produces, especially when... Um, Dave, Dave, you've always um, sort of followed me quite well on this yeah. um, in, in the sense that you, you can tell when a bass line is supposed to come in so he's going to play that for maybe four bars I'll bring the first bass note in here I was like you, you just seem to get it so <laughs> it's uh, having known you so long you're like I know what he wants <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll do yeah. that yeah exactly so, sometimes a little a little guidance from you because you had a particular thing in mind but you know most of the time yeah more, more often you know, more often yeah. Not. No, yeah yeah so uh So, That's next up. question. <laughs> right, what have we got? Let's do, uh, uh, this is for all of us. Okay. From Sammy, I'm always going to say this, right? Is it Sadek? Yeah. Yeah. It is, right. Uh, have you ever considered doing your music for things like video games, TV, or film? Ha! Huh. Well, um... as we were saying just now, when we have a depressing film, maybe. Uh... Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I think the second floor or something like that would have been very nice in a... Uh... Aronofsky's Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it would fit well for some depressing dark movie somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like Ernest Goes to Camp or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I've, I've never really considered our stuff to be particularly no. commercially viable. That's the problem. Um, well, it could be the... It, I suppose Second Floor could be used in the sequel to Will Smith's Pursuit of Happiness, and that's the uh, Pursuit of Loneliness. You know? <laughs> Will Smith stars as a man about to jump off a fucking building <laughs> in the oh, second God. floor. Yeah. yeah. Um, now I've never considered our stuff to be commercially viable, so I've, which is a shame because I, I liked our music, <laughs> um, but I just never thought that anyone would be stupid enough to buy it. Um, no. So no, I've I've never considered sort of doing our music for like sort of thing like that. It would. Be, I'm not saying it wouldn't be fucking cool. Oh yeah, obviously. It, it would be awesome. Yeah, it would be awesome. But um, all we need is a record company that are mental, a load of people that are mental to buy it, and we'd be there. And we'd be there, yeah. And I'd I'd be crashed out on the sofa with a needle in my arm by the end of the week. Right. Um, yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Um, do you want anything to drink at all? Uh, yeah, go on. Why not? All right. Okay. Awesome. What do you want? What you got? Uh, got beer, got red tea, coffee, yucca juice, and uh, golden rod tea. Got a bit of beer, I think, innit? Beer? Uh, all right. Ah. Right, now I've got to fucking give this to you somewhere, haven't I? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna pick it up somehow. <laughs> there we are. Do I, do I pick it up? Uh, you did not. Ah, cheers. Cheers. Ah. Ah. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I do wish that I could actually just like every once in a while just like take a drink without looking like I'm doubled over in pain. But... Yeah, it, look, it looks like I was squatting for a shit there, really. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> squatting Neville. Um. <laughs> Right, so Nolsey's uh, got three questions for us. Hello, John. Oops. Um, uh, so I guess we'll just take one each, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay, so question one. How did you all meet? Well, me and you go back a long time, unfortunately. We do. Us. Yeah. 
We do. Very, yeah, very long time. 30 years this year. Yes. In, oh, in September. We, we, yeah. we met, uh, me and Dave met uh, in secondary school uh, in a second year. Um, he transferred from another school. Um, yep. And I know, I know fate sort of threw us, threw us together. Um, yeah, yeah. I was getting followed by the, the class weirdo. And for yeah, once which that, wasn't, that, which wasn't, which wasn't yeah. you, yeah, which wasn't <laughs> you for once, yeah, yeah. Unbelievably, there was somebody weirder. Uh, yeah, he followed me around and all he, day, and he was a cunt. Yeah, uh, and then he got beaten up for following me all day. And, yeah, well, uh, not, not the funny, the funny, st- <laughs> no, the funny story behind this is the teacher asked this particular kid, "Could you just show Dave around the school and everything like that?" But this particular kid didn't think to actually introduce no, himself and t- he, tell he, Dave this is what I've been asked it. to do. No, he, he never mentioned so, it, never said a word, just followed me around like some creepy weirdo all day. And, yeah, uh, so yeah. Dave got pissed off, right? <laughs> um, and then went up to someone and said, take care of this cunt for me, right? <laughs> and someone did. And someone did, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's, Dave, that's, eh? how, that's how me and Dave met. Um, with regards to uh, the rest of them, uh, I met uh, the drummer, Andy, um, when I was working for a supported housing company in London, and he was a service manager. Um, and then we got talking, and he said, oh, I'm a drummer, blah, 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 blah. So we tried him out. He uh, was really good when it suited him. And um, <laughs> so we, we stuck with him for a few years. And uh, Alex, um, I met in a call centre uh, in, uh, yeah, in Cross Harbour um, back in 2005. Um, and that's how the band actually started. We, uh, I said I was looking to do a project, blah, blah, he was interested. So we got together as a duo originally. Um, <laughs> yeah. Flashed out some ideas. And then we, I've, I've played music with you before. I mean, Dave actually originally taught me how to play my first five chords. Yeah, yeah. well, um, I, I'd been playing a little while and, yeah, taught you a few chords and then you just took off on your own. So. Yeah. So I said to Dave, I'm putting a project together. Do you want to get involved? And he said, yes. Yeah. And, uh, and then Wolfgang, in its uh, in its most basic form, form was yeah. uh, was was born. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So. And obviously we, second we, question. We, oh, Go. Yeah. I was going to say Go obviously we we played together before Wolfgang, and you did have a bass player before me, but uh, he was leaving. Uh, yeah. And we, and we met at a party at Ian's, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We met. You, yeah. You, you, you kind of begged me to to come and play. Yeah, we have to. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're boring me. <laughs> nothing, nothing unusual. Uh, I hadn't played for quite a few years because of my time in the navy and everything. I hadn't played for years. Picked up a bass and he was like, "Come along." I said, "I'll oh, fuck it, might as well." And yeah. yeah, basically that was that. You gave yeah. me the recording for a few songs, didn't you? Yeah. And I sort of learnt a few at home. But, oh no, it was at yours basically, wasn't it? About an hour before. <laughs> oh fuck yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, you, and you did really well he, he, he did and I thought to myself you fucking show a fucking smug cunt smug and, and I and, and I, and I, yes and I, I still think that about you um, well you know we, that's, yeah. that's why we like each other yeah, yeah tolerate Dave you, tolerate, to, tolerate tolerate sorry yeah put up it's, it's, yeah, bear yeah, with put it up with, <laughs> put up with under duress yeah. Um, right, um, yeah next question on this one uh, yeah, what inspired you to call the band? Uh, sorry, is that yeah? yeah. Um, that's that's definitely down to you that one. Yeah, um, that's <laughs> as I right as I as I understand <laughs> it right. Um, before I was born, uh, my dad wanted to call me Wolfgang Patrick, and I my mum. Mother... Drink everywhere there. What's that? <laughs> I nearly spat my drink everywhere when you said that. <laughs> it's true, uh, and my mother um, said, "If you if you mention anything that quite as ludicrous as that again, I'm going to punch you in the dick." Basically, um, so they so they settled on uh, Gerard, which I'm not entirely sure <laughs> I was was any better, quite frankly. Um, so when we were putting the band together, um, I quite liked the name Wolfgang. Um, but there was a music website already using it, and um, I can't remember things. So I got inspired to change the G to a K. It's the same pronunciation, different spelling. Um, and yeah, went from there. But that, that was it. Yeah. Cool, because like, obviously I, I wasn't in the band when you, you started, so I'd, no. 
I had no idea really where it came from either <laughs> for, for many years. <laughs> and orig- originally, the Wolfgang One channel was was there to showcase the band's music. That's what I originally uploaded it for. Um, oh shit! You, what happened there? I don't know, but you uh, you looked like you crawled under the uh, the pool table. Yeah, it just spazzed out. <laughs> okay, well now you're now you're standing in front of me. Do you want to squat uh, squat back over there? That's it. <laughs> Uh, what the hell has happened? I've, I've got... Weird. Okay, I've got things come up for everyone here. I've got... There's a chicken. I can see the stats for a chicken running outside for some reason. I can tell you how much health it's got. I can tell you how much... Right. That's fucking um, weird. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely fucking keeping that in. I'm yeah. keeping that in. I'm, it, cause it, I want to see just, that. It just completely spazzed out for some bizarre fucking reason. I okay. want to see that. Right, hang on, I want to. I want to see the stat, the health stats of a chicken in seven and days. Joel, and I can see where the gyrocopters are. I can see where the trucks are. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Ah oh, well. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to get myself back into position. Right. Uh, uh-huh. 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 Oh, I've got to find a way to get that off because you've now got stats of Trader Joel right above your head. Right. Okay. So. <laughs> We will be back in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, after we've sorted out this technical <laughs> fuck-up. After, after, after this commercial break. Right, this is to individual members, so we both get to answer this question separately. Hurrah. Hurrah. Um, <laughs> what was the most memorable venue you've played? So let's, let's start you with that one. Yeah, um... There's been a couple of decent ones. Um, it was at the Bull and Gate. That was quite a good one. Nice big stage. Was that, that was. was that the one that we played the night before we went to uh, TF convention? Quite possibly. Some, yeah. Yeah. They cl- they closed it down and turned it into a fucking gastro pub or gastro. something like that. Yeah. And it had a really big music area. Big nice raised stage. Good lighting. Yeah. It'd been a music uh, venue think, for like uh, forty years or something. Yeah, was it the one we recorded? Um, no, no, it wasn't that one. So I was just thinking if it was um, come come alive. No, that was the Water no. Rats in Kings Cross. Yeah, that that potentially is a good re- if you had a decent sound engineer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's been there's been loads. I mean, obviously there's the Twelve Bar in Denmark Street. That's no longer there. Uh, the oh, bullying- that, that I nearly I nearly fell off the stage mid gig on that one because it's so small yeah uh, the pulling <laughs> gate that's no longer there um, no. but basically what what happens is we go in there we play a venue and then it closes down very very soon afterwards <laughs> not saying we've got anything to do with that but we've probably got something to do with that we've, we've got a lot to do with that probably because we're, we're shit um, <laughs> very very shit um, so yeah the 12 bar the pulling gate um, there was uh Oh, what was the one where we was in the underground in like the um, the, se- the cellar that had really good acoustics in there and because it was small it looked rammed um St Michael's Church in Brixton no it was the one um was it a Camden Calling one where it was in that pub and it was under yeah it was maybe like ce- it was like the cellar can't re- the Marquis of something wasn't it I can't remember yeah something like that it, it, if, uh, f- we're 42 years old this is like a long time <laughs> ago now memory, memory's going but that yeah. that was good because it was it was small and compact, but because it was all like the arched roofs, stone uh, sort of brick, arched it's like cellar roof, and all yeah, compact, so d- it looked it looked absolutely round in there, and the sound was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. Uh, yeah, that was a candle corner thing. Um, but yeah. of course, uh, the one that I, I think sticks out probably most above all others is the the Birmingham Hilton in two thousand and fourteen oh, when we when we played uh, the. Uh, AA convention and was also the launch of our um, album every now and then. It was. Which yeah. copies are still available if any of you are stupid enough to want one. Many, many copies. Many copies, yeah. <laughs> Please buy them. Please buy them, yeah. Uh, does anyone still have a CD player? Um, <laughs> that, uh, that's, that's the question. That's, that was a glaring oversight at the time. I printed off all these CDs and no one has CD players anymore. Well, that's fucking <laughs> stupid. It all went um, digital. <laughs> yeah, but there is a digital copy online. Uh, Bandcamp.com. Yeah, I don't know. Just buy it or don't. Bandcamp, Wolfcamp, you'll find it. 
Yeah, <laughs> buy it or don't. I don't give a fuck anymore, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> it was eight years ago. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, eight oh, years ago. Jesus, yeah. yeah. Right, like, yeah. We recorded it ten years ago. Some of them. Uh, yeah. 2012, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, we started recording those. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ, lads. We're getting on. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's just a handful of, of some of the uh, some of the venues that we played, that which were which were which were fantastic. Um, yeah, and of course, uh, for me personally, one that always sticks out is the Spread Eagle in Southend. Uh, when I was <laughs> when I was <laughs> when I was first started to uh, first started to play, I took part in a uh, little thing called yes. Preview. Um, if still if anyone, going. <laughs> if anyone wants uh, uh, an overview of Preview. Watch season one, episode five, I think, <laughs> episode five or episode six, episode six of Wolfgang One Strange Corner, um, where I talked about my early, <laughs> early days at Preview. Uh, my wife don't love me no more. Um, <laughs> Have a rat tail, but be bald. bald. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, next question, please. Uh, where were we? Um, I've lost my place now. Question for you all. What got you into playing instruments and writing songs? Uh, hmm. That's um, from, sorry, must well say that's from, give me a shout. Yep. Firestorm 1989. Oh, ah, Sam. Um, okay, uh, well, what got me into playing instruments? I had a guitar bought for me when I was about seven, and I, it sat in my room for about ten years. Nothing happened with it, I never touched <laughs> it. Um, and I used, to, I used to come over your house, and plucked yep. the bottom string on Dave's, Dave's Fender Stratocaster badly. And uh, <laughs> the night before my 18th birthday, Dave said, right, you know what, I'm going to teach you some, uh, some chords. And I went, oh, no, no, it's all right. And Dave went, no, no. I'm going to teach you if, some actual chords. I'm going to teach you some actual <laughs> chords because if you keep plucking that string as badly as you're plucking it, I'm going to remove it and garrot you with it, I think was your exact <laughs> It was a long those words. lines, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Dave <laughs> taught me five basic chords. I went out the following day on my 18th birthday, bought myself a guitar and amp, and learned in under two weeks. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you quickly overtook my guitar playing abilities, mm. which isn't saying much because I'm shit, but, you know. <laughs> You're shit. <laughs> <laughs> very, very shit. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, yeah. me, I, I first played a guitar when I was at primary school. They did, like, after-school lessons, which I did about three weeks and didn't bother again, and learned a few chords, same as you. I had a, I had a book that showed me how to do some chords, so I did that. Um, yeah, so I played guitar badly for a few years. I think when I was about 13, I got given a bass guitar. I was like, ooh, let's have a go on this. And then decided to play that badly instead. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, it's easier to play four strings badly than six. <laughs> very, <So>. very true, <laughs> very true. <laughs> well, well, you know it is. So, yeah, so I playing bass. I've still got guitar. I've got three guitars, well, two guitars and a bass. And uh, yeah, so I started playing bass a lot more. Uh, then Joel, he was doing he was doing his guitar learning by or, yeah, what was you seventeen? I can't remember. Uh, not, yeah, night before my eighteenth. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so we then started jamming a little bit together. Sometimes I play guitar, sometimes bass, and yeah, it just went on from there really. That's pretty and what? What got you into writing songs? I I wasn't intending on writing my own stuff at all. I just wanted to hear sounds, musical sounds. Um, I started writing my first song, I think, about two weeks after I started learning. Yeah, it was um, very, very quick. and Yeah. Yeah, and it just, it just sort of snowballed from there, really. What started off as a, a melodic, uh, melancholic sort of little uh, song, uh, eventually through <laughs> the years, ended up becoming... Um, I'm never going to smile on stage. I'm never going to say anything <laughs> happy. Um, happy songs don't exist in my mind. Um, I love REM, but shiny, happy people can fuck off. Um, and people have asked me, why, why don't you try writing something happy? And I, and I look at them and say, uh, are, you taking this, are you taking this as seriously as I am? What's, what's the matter with you? I don't, I don't do... I find The only way I'm really able to write songs properly is if, if, if I'm not in a good headspace. And then I, I write some fucking vitriolic, great and fucking stuff. And then stuff. they come flowing out after that. Yeah. I mean, yeah you, you, so I was going to say, yeah, you basically started off with that little notebook, didn't you? And that yeah. very quickly became full. Yeah. Um, and we did our first sort of song together. 
was the the early version of Displaced. Yeah. Uh, that was yeah, that was what, early '98, wasn't it? Yep. And that was the first time I'd ever written a sort of guitar-y, solo-y bit, and well, I say first time, only time. Um, never, never have again since. But <laughs> yeah. No, that was quite good. And the the lyrics are very different on that first one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's basically not, not very... it, it wouldn't yeah. go down very well today. It was yeah. It was it was Yeah, it it wasn't it very wasn't com- it wasn't complimentary about the uh the people of South End. No, and it no. wasn't very lyrically competent <laughs> either. It was fucking dreadful. Um yeah. But that, that's fine. You know, everyone's, everyone's got to have a bad song in them somewhere. Yeah. Shiny happy people as a great example of that. Um <laughs> And the last last section from uh, uh, last question from Sam here. Uh, do you want to take this on? Because this is quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bear in mind this was asked ten years ago. Yeah. Where do you see yourselves in five years? Huh. Not, um, not, not playing not, anymore. Yeah. Not yeah. Not not <laughs> sitting here in a virtual world on <laughs> squatting in front of sofas, um, answering these questions ten years after we should have done. Is no, where, where no. I see myself in five years. Um, if I, if, if I, I was, I, yeah. Five yeah, years ago was pretty much when I changed my job and then never played again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the last last gig we played was October 2016, um, and I'm not going to say why, but it was a fucking disaster, and it was not because of us. Um, no, no. Um, and it, the stage after that, where I said to Dave, "I love this, but I'm done," and Dave went, "Yeah." I know and what it's, you mean. and and I've I've <laughs> I've not seen you that quietly enraged in a very 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 long time. It, it takes quite a bit to it get It takes me. a massive yeah. amount to piss you off, yeah. and yet somehow all those fucking buttons were pushed in, in a precise order. In a very precise yeah. order. And then the bass guitar after that evening was put down and not picked up again. No. Apart, from, we once, do... apart from once. And that was yeah, uh, we'll... T- TFN last year, oh, well, three years ago now, isn't it? In 2019. Yeah. Will we do something musical again in the future? I'd like to think we would. I do miss it, to be I do miss it. Yeah. I, I do think so. I have been talking to a guitarist recently um, and I've been trying to put together uh, lyrics for some music he sent me and I do need to meet up with him but I've got a mental block at the moment about I don't know if I can actually do this which is weird because music was my passion um, yeah it's it's getting back on the bike once you start riding and pedalling again you'll be you'll be good yeah, yeah bearing in mind that I've always been really shit at riding a bike Dave so <laughs> that's true I remember trying to teach you that as well yeah <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah, that? ice caught you out. Never mind. Anyway, uh, there's a multitude of different things. The coordination <laughs> was a fucking issue. Um, <laughs> I, I'd, I'd like to think we, we are going to do something again musically in the future. It just depends when. But I, I haven't, yeah, just, I haven't about, given up on it entirely. It's all about timing. Mm. Timing is crucial. Yeah, which which was always an issue for us as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> what chord are you playing? I don't know. I'm playing. A, I'm playing a G. No, you're not. You're playing a C. Well, oh, fucking hell. Again? Uh, yeah. So, I thought the C was after the A. <laughs> I thought you were A. Um, yeah. So, um, so yes, so, yes. It's, so where do we see ourselves in five years' time? In five years' time from now, because um, we haven't old, answered this question. Old, um, arthritic, <laughs> and probably on the way out. Oh, oh, pinch, <laughs> pinch me, pinch yeah. me. Um yeah, I, 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 five years from now, I don't know. I'm just hoping it's, it's not... Um, I hope I'm not stuck in the same sort of creative rut that I am at the moment. That's why there's 33 episodes of Seven Days to Die up on YouTube <laughs> at the moment and 20 weeks worth, you know... You know Wait, waiting yeah. to go, yeah. Waiting to go, yeah. It's, it's just... Oh, yeah. Where, where do I see itself in five years' time? <sighs> Honest answer, I don't know, but it's got to be better than this, quite frankly. So, um... So yeah. So here's hopefully, a qu- hopefully there are a few more viewers. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully there are a few more viewers. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is a question from my ever put upon mother, bless her. Um, <laughs> you are all very much alike. Did your mother have trouble telling you apart when you were babies? And are there any quads in your family? <laughs> um, the last thing you can say is me and you look alike. Yeah. <laughs> Tall, skinny, short, and fat. There's a, there's a slight difference I, I, between us. Yeah, I, I, I am. I am the German sausage to his jacket potato. <laughs> which, which sounds like a rude video. But, uh... It does. Maybe, maybe we could film that in uh, Seven Days to Die as well. Um, oh Christ. Yeah. Uh, 
No. <laughs> so, I, I, no. <laughs> I, I, think that, I think that's just mum taking the piss, actually. Quite, um, quite possibly. So does that even warrant an answer? No. Right? <laughs> St- stop, being, stop being so obtuse, mother. Bless you. Um, but there is, there, is a, there is another question from, from mother here, if you want to take that one. Okay. If you could have any other artist singing one of your songs, what song or what artist would it be? Oh, ah, okay, right, okay, oh, well, that's, 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 that's see that, that yeah. there, the silly old bass, that's a, that's a good song, mum, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's a good question, yeah. right, okay, so, um, Ooh. I don't know. uh, well, some, some of my songs tend to take, um, uh, a narrative approach to things, um, so I would I would love, um, for example, uh, if he could still sing the cun, um, uh, because of the narrative approach to it, um, I would have loved Bon Jovi to do um, "Away from You." Yeah, I think that'd fit quite well. That um, because when I, when I maybe fifteen years ago, maybe fifteen yeah, years yeah. ago, because when I wrote that song, um, I I, I kind of had it. I was trying to do it sort of in their style. Yeah. Um, if you take, I haven't seen that yet. If you take into account songs like um, "Have a Nice Day" or um, or, or sort of uh, what's um, what's the other one? Uh, "Undivided" or "Unbreakable" or something like that. Um, yeah. I, I kind of had it in had in my head. The vocal structure would be sort of equivalent to his. Um, "Come Alive." Um, was written in the style of Creed, so I would love Creed yeah. to do Come Alive. Yeah, that could definitely work. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Annie Lennox to sing uh, Beneath <laughs> Me. <laughs> that that would need a bit of rework, I think. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not, not sure because she could just whack in a few harmonies in there. That would that would just sound on point. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, th- I think that that would be quite that would be quite cool. Um, um, yeah. What about you, Dave? What any uh, any ideas? I don't know. I was just just trying to think through now. Um, nope. Obviously, oh, REM REM to do um, second floor. <laughs> not not shiny happy people. Uh, Definitely not shiny happy people. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Can you actually remember the names of any of our songs? <laughs> I, I, you know when you have that sort of brain fart and you go, gone. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Um, I, I should have really thought about this before we started recording. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, here, here's another one. Paul Rogers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so hard. Is he? I don't know. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> twat, 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 twat. <laughs> Because so hard was written in the style of um, I can't remember the band's name. Uh, free. free. Yeah. 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 That that again. Yeah. That definitely work. Um. You can't think of a fucking one, can you? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of song. Obviously, obviously you got Get We Secret release. You got. <coughs> Uh, I think who would go with what? Green Day for um, Guilty Secret. Oh, that, that's obvious, yeah. It's that, that style. Um, yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers for... Um, release. release. Release, yeah. 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 Again, yeah, because that's... Yeah, the way that, that the way that works flows out go with them. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I would have said Velvet Revolver, um, Scott Wayland for um, Skin Deep if he hadn't have yeah. Um, died of a heroin overdose. So. <laughs> that always puts a downer on the singing ability. It, um, it really does, doesn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. kids, stay away from the smack. It's um, bad. Yeah, it You're is. Dead. You're dead. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, that's all I can think of for the time being. Uh, yeah, I think that'll do for now. Yeah. If you think of any, we, we won't bother saying because... We'll, no, yeah. <laughs> we, might do, we might do something in another ten years. Yeah. Um, Where do you see yourself in five years? Collecting my pension. But, um, Clinically actually, dead. By, by, by the time it comes to that, there probably won't be any national pension. Cheers, fucking. No, no, they, they won't. They won't. We'll be expected <laughs> to fucking dig our own graves. Yeah. 
Um, Come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> this, this was um, me and uh, Dave619 answering uh, the important questions of the day 10 years ago um, <laughs> put to us. Um, thank you for getting to know us at Wolf King. Uh, we just about exist now. Wolf King doesn't. Um, <laughs> Maybe it will again. Who knows? On the on the verge. Well, we only just exist, really. So. Don't, uh, only by the slimmest of margins. And the weather's taking a turn. Hello. It's started to rain now. Store. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That's a good These sofas, ended, are, really, isn't it? These sofas are fucking dreadful. Got yeah. Fucking... They're done with a clean, really, couldn't they? Anyway. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's because yeah. you wank too much. That's, yeah. that's, I was going to say, you, you, you can see all the semen stains all over it. I mean, look. It's yeah, just and, and mine. I have to sit on this. Yeah, they don't, they don't sort of squish. They more sort of crisp now. Crisp, crunch. Yeah. Crispy, crunchy, flaky. Lovely. Anyway, I'm done with this. Um, yeah. yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching uh, this. And uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Until then, take care. See ya. I'm off. Wake, I think. <laughs> and when tomorrow comes, I feel you laying by me like you ain't got nowhere else to go.